All right, man, talk to talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So look, man, look, man, look, man. Look, man. <laughs> ah, man. Had to weed them out. Had to weed the ones who don't want to be out, man. That's how it is. You got to stand on business. If you believe something, you got to stand on it. That's just what it is. You can't be mad at me for speaking my opinion because guess what? I have to bear the sight of a lot of y'all in the comments talking about me. That's just it. We agree to disagree over here. My views are not radical. I'm just telling you that we agree to disagree. But I have another video where I'm going to talk about some more things. And I'm sure I might lose a lot more subscribers because of that too. But it just lets me know that the people that are here want to be here because they want to hear my commentary and not because they think I'm going to make them feel good. But before we get into the yes, this video here, that's going to be the next video. Before we get into this video, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Toy to Talk. If you like the comment, if you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work on your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. Absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And a million by Monday morning. Y'all got it? A million by Monday morning. Look, let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. So listen, man, we're going to get into this video by Deleted, where he's talking about Lil Wayne, and it's sad how Lil Wayne is going out. Um, and I want to definitely talk about this. So look, let's get to the video, man. We'll be back to discuss. All right, man. <clears throat> Make sure y'all go follow Deleted, man. Links will be in the description. Let's get to it, man. Let's go. I think I need to make one thing clear on this channel before we begin. I don't give a <laughs> what none of y'all think. I'ma just be honest with you. When y'all get mad at me and say, I'm unsubbing. <laughs> Okay, get your soft A up out of here. I, I, like, I don't get it. You can't cancel someone that don't care. When I see men typing that, I feel like you guys got girl hands. Your feminine hands. So am I gonna have to be the kid to say it? Do, do I gotta be everybody's enemy again? Am I gonna have to be the stick in the mud? I say that like I don't love this type of energy. <laughs> Little Wayne is fried. He's literally the Patrick Star of rap at this point. Hova, jealous of this performance? Now, I wouldn't be going so I could kind of agree with this. Little Wayne is fried. And it's sad, it's sad to see us pretend as if he's not. It's so sad to see. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of us sitting here not telling these people who and what you know what I'm saying? They are. In certain instances, Lil Wayne is fried. We need to let him know that he needs to get himself together. But we okay with it. We just all right with it. We can't be okay with stuff like this. We owe him that hard on little brain the way i am if it wasn't for his recent temper tantrum over the super bowl halftime slot which was ultimately awarded to kendrick lamar little brain let his whole team amp him up and allowed these bozos to uplift him and make him feel that this was a way of redeeming his legacy when in reality it was a slight to kda and jay-z Nicki minaj's coca-cola rant on twitter started this whole fiasco demanding wayne being the Super Bowl headliner, but she really used this debate to mask her subliminal disses in between on how she felt aimed at. That's that's a hundred percent true. Nicki Minaj 
was one of the major reasons why Lil Wayne has been put in his feelings. Let's be honest here. Like, she is the one of the major reasons why. It's so much stuff that happened behind the scenes with Lil Wayne and, and Jay-Z. And I can't believe that Lil Wayne actually fell for it. And that just reinforces to me that he actually has a problem. He actually has a problem, and it needs to be addressed. Jay-Z, Rock Nation, and Meg Thee Stallion. Nicki Minaj has been going at Rock Nation's neck for years now, and it honestly seemed it got worse when they started supporting her ops. Are we surprised, though? Nicki hates on anything and everyone with a... Wait, can I say bitch on here? Uh, I don't know. I'll just say cat. Nicki Minaj hates anything and everything that has a cat. Weird because she truly is one of, if not the best female MC of all time. She is the queen of rap, but she carries herself like a peasant. Meanwhile, you have... That's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. And I said that before. She definitely carries herself like she's, like she's beneath what she is. And maybe that just speaks to her nature of her being from where she's from. Maybe she's just competitive. Who knows? But for the most part, you don't need to be competitive with some of these people. You're already out of here. You're a certified legend. You don't need all the attention. But she definitely was the one that set this battle off, or not even battle. She was the one that set this whole ideology off with Kendrick and, uh, and, um, and Lil Wayne and his copium, I should say. Birdman edging the shit on and the edge lord himself Drake the sub queen posting subliminals throughout this little Wayne versus Kendrick spectacle by the way these are the same people who were quiet when Birdman robbed Wayne of millions the same people who had nothing to say when Birdman stopped the Carter 6 album from ever dropping and allowed his then artist Young Thug to claim the Carter 6 title which he would then change the album to Barter 6 because of the outrage and backlash these are the same people that didn't bat an eye that's crazy all of these people when it comes to wayne it was using wayne that's it look at what just happened and what he just said and that's the truth we all know about this story how how uh how the baby uh a uh, baby did that to wayne how how the whole thing happened with the tour bus thing we all know this, but for some reason, we want to side with Baby when we know what he did to Lil Wayne. Nikki knows what he did to Lil Wayne. It's crazy to me because you know what it is? A lot of them, they just want to be recognized. They want to be seen. They don't care about actual feelings of Wayne. They just want to be on stage. That's it. When Young Thug allegedly shot up Wayne's tour bus with Wayne inside at the time of the shooting. These are the same people who were quiet while we watched the great run of Lil Wayne go silent and his career came to a halt by the hands of Birdman. This is literally the very reason why Wayne's run stopped so suddenly. However, in the midst of all this, Jay-Z was the one who helped Wayne get out of debt and paid $14 million of Wayne's taxes. That's people like Jay-Z. I mean, he helped me when I was really, really, really down. He don't want me to talk about it, don't want me to tell nobody. Jay don't want me to tell nobody. That man helped me with my tax. These are real friends, y'all. Shout out to my nigga Jay. I'm, sh I'm shocked that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, all, all you people jumping in the comments, what y'all gonna say about that? That's crazy. You gotta admit that. You have to admit that. Like, come on now. You have to admit that he was wrong for saying what he said about the Super Bowl. You have to admit it. At the way they're making it seem like Jay-Z hates Lil Wayne. That's how Nicki Minaj was making it out to be. And most of y'all fall for it. Y'all fall right for it. Don't even care. So many people are uh, running with the Jay-Z is hating on Lil Wayne narrative because Jay-Z has done nothing but show Wayne the utmost love. Jay-Z literally helped this man with his tax debt. I don't know what the actual number was, but, you know, uh, the USA Today said back in 2018 it was over $14 million in taxes. Jay helped him get out of debt. Jay helped him keep his house. 
So I don't think that sounds like hate to me on a person. Jay wanted to sign Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Ironically, besides Birdman, these are the same people that did not show up to his Little Louisiana show at all. Drake too big. That's crazy. That's crazy as hell. So let me get this right. Little Wayne has a show, and you on there defending Little Wayne about the Super Bowl, but since he did a show called Lulu, Louisiana, y'all didn't show up? You or Drake? Y'all didn't show up? He acted like a battered scorn woman on the sideline, mean mugging DeRozan, and Nikki somewhere playing with her nose. Allegedly. Not true whatsoever. I just said that for the dramatic effect of things. Wayne should have read the fucking room. I was always taught as a child to never be someone else's entertainment for drama. For instance, if people are hyping you up to create some sort of beef with someone else, you never thought you had beef to begin with. Usually, they are the ones who are the snakes to your Eve, with Eve being your sanity or your integrity. In other words, don't let them corrupt your mind, gang. These people aren't to help you but to destroy you and they benefit off of your chaos that they stir up around here we call those people that's a hundred percent facts and that's exactly what Nicki minaj did she benefited off of him getting her name out there saying certain things keeping her name relevant saying that she got an issue with jay-z plus this it looks it looks like she's on jay-z level to some people when she's talking to jay-z and he ain't saying nothing back you know what i'm saying it just looks weird out up front like nigga don't pump me up if you have a problem you go do it i'm not for your entertainment and some take it as complete disrespect to the point where they will call the person out for a fade in itself the whole performance was a shit show Wayne looks spaced the fuck out. His people around him are not for him at all. It's so sad to witness a legend deteriorate before our eyes. Someone should have poured that cup out a long fucking time ago. He was in prison for what, like 11 months? That could have been where he changed his life away from the addiction. He's singing off key. He's standing there spaceless. It's so hard to watch. I see a lot of people stating it's because he's 43 years old. No, nigga. Beyonce is 43 dancing like she has a bill to pay on her last tour Kanye is 47 dancing with fans in China on the world tour that he's on and when he was 43 that's when Donda dropped and he did a free Larry Hoover concert with Drake Drake is a 39 year old white woman only four years younger than Wayne and he just came off of his own world tour Nicki Minaj is 41 years of age two years younger than Wayne and she just completed her own tour but by the way she's been acting lately her brain might not be too far off allegedly that is allegedly all that's fake she doesn't do nothing of the such we're just yeah that's crazy how hip-hop and i think this i'm gonna actually do a separate episode on the age of hip-hop and why i believe it's actually over for the most part but it's very sad to see not sad because but most of the artists that are that are holding on to hip-hop are older artists and they're getting they're not getting no younger they're all older. They're the ones with all the power. Kendrick is 37. J. Cole is 40. I believe uh, Jay-Z is like 50-something. Eminem's 50-something. Nas is 50-something. Nicki Minaj is in her 40s. Uh, uh, Beyonce in her 40s. Uh, Rick Ross in his 40s. All these people are older. In a couple more years, like 10 years from now, what's going to happen to hip-hop? We ain't like... Are we investing into some of these newer and young artists? And then we're probably not because they're not as good as these, some of these artists. So they're not going to be around too much longer. And I think that people see the writing on the wall. And this is the reason why I believe hip hop is kind of like falling off. Like Drake's what? Almost 40. Two more years, he'd be 40. It's crazy.
Uh, we're just saying allegedly. This is all for jokes. J. Cole is 40 years old riding a bike somewhere. He's three years younger than Lil Wayne. When Jay-Z was 43 years old, the same age as Wayne, he released the 444 album and went on a world tour himself. And Future is 40 years old, three years younger than Wayne. So this isn't what 43 looks like. This isn't what 43 moves like. 43 isn't old at all. It's a grown ass man. It's not a young man. It's not an old man. It's just a man. I mean, I guess it's a middle aged man. I, I don't know. Either way, he looks awful and he looks like he's deteriorating. All this out rage for Wayne to perform when he needs a teleprompter to even recite words but that's crazy yo that's crazy he need a teleprompter now yo that's wild that's wild kept missing the beat y'all can't be serious because you wanted to be the first solo rap headliner for your city i don't want to hear you guys say it's because he has so many verses and how he doesn't write them down and how he can't possibly remember half the songs that's just stupid then don't perform then if you're not going to practice and gear up then why perform Neither Jay-Z and Kanye and so many other greats of hip hop has yet to grace the Super Bowl stage themselves. And they're some of the most impactful and influential artists of all time. And they And I said that a long time ago. You can't be mad at Jay-Z. You can't be mad for him because number one, Jay-Z could have took that slot for himself. He has enough hits to do it. He could have did it. He could have put somebody else there. But he chose Kendrick, and he chose Kendrick for a reason. Would never slight their peers of gracing that stage. That's some for real female dog energy, some Garfield type shit. Or should I just say, that's some bitch and pussy shit. And on the gang, Kendrick better not pull this nigga Wayne on stage with him either. Forget all that righteous, holier than thou, Kendrick. Come with the straight boogeyman aura in New Orleans, gang, especially after all this shade. Them dudes probably wouldn't even take Kendrick's offer, anyways. They're all so damn prideful and egotistic. Look at how these motherfuckers try to dim this man's light during his announcement. Jealousy and crab in the barrel mentality. Leave them under the shade they created, gang. Hey, I'm serious. That's 100% facts. The more I think about it, I definitely agree. I don't think Kendrick should bring out anybody because look at, look, he's right. Look at all the bullshit that they've been doing. They've been trying to step on the, step on the whole roll up and saying stuff. Oh, yo, listen, it's all right. And I, congratulations to Kendrick, but to be honest with you, it should be Wayne. Like, basically saying, like, eh, congratulations to you, bro, but fuck that. We don't want to see you there. It's like, I thought y'all supported that. What happened? It's bullshit, and they know it. I'm going to be real pissed the fuck off at Kendrick if he somehow shows these niggas love. And shut the fuck up, K-Dot stands. No one's talking to you. Go to your shrine and pray to Kendrick or something. Go preach to a motherfucker that cares. This is my take, my opinion. This is how I feel. I had some nigga the other day come on here talking about, you lost all credibility with me. Credibility with what exactly? I started my whole channel off of talking shit about Meek and Diddy banging each other, then Drake, and then a racist white YouTuber. And then I vented about how I was sick of J. Cole. And then again, I had to get on Drake's line. When the fuck did you feel that anything I ever said was credible? This is YouTube, gang. Go touch some grass. My bad, I'm eating candy. I told you guys I was going to be at Kendrick Stan's neck. I <laughs> oh, man. I can't say I don't, I don't feel no different. I definitely do feel the same way he feel. Ain't letting up. Go ahead and say I'm bothered. I don't care. I'm going to eat my sour punch rolls. As for a millennial, this hot boy reunion for real was something special to see. It should have happened 15 years ago, though, when it would have been more appreciated. Look at this dull ass crowd. This isn't moving them because they're not a part of this legacy. But see, when people are on their high horse, they don't think to do reunions like this until they're humbled and not the it factor anymore. I feel the crowd would have been at an uproar if this was for a generation that still cared. We're all grown now and paying bills, irritated that we have to deal with a coworker or going to a parent-teacher conference meeting. But if this happened 15 years ago, that whole arena would have been turned the fuck up. I can't remember though, is BG. That's 100% facts. If that did happen years ago, 
it definitely would have been turned up. I'm going to tell you right now, from what I've seen, it definitely did look dull and Willow Wayne screaming in the mic. and it just, it just didn't look right. It just didn't sound right either. Out 15 years ago, was Turk released? You guys let me know in the comments. A lot of nostalgic moments on this stage that for real hit home for me. I just wish it wasn't centered around throwing shade towards K-Dot. And I'm not trying to be the savior for K-Dot. I just call it how I see it. Hate is hate. Lame is lame. I wish all this came from a natural place. Giving Wayne his flowers because he got the Super Bowl ripped from his hands is corny and cringe as hell. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I Yeah, that's crazy for him to do that. It's like, that's crazy. I get it. You feel some type of way, but as a, as a fellow MC, you know that this dude, this is the first time ever. Like, I, I got to say this. Lil Wayne doesn't deserve to be on the Super Bowl stage for the first, for the first artist ever to do that. He shouldn't be, he shouldn't be, the first rap artist should not be Lil Wayne on that stage. Solo act. Sorry. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Work my ass off to get that fucking position and it was ripped away from me. But this motherfucking moment right here. They can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. And come on, gang, nothing can be ripped from you if it was never yours to begin with. The Super Bowl never worked this way in the past. That's what I'm saying. Like, how are you going to sit there and say it was ripped from you? It was never even given to you. Like, you think, and, and this, is, this, is, this speaks to the nature of some of y'all with the whole, uh, everybody feel like they so entitled. It's like, no, dog, it wasn't never given to you. So why are you sitting here trying to act like, you entitled to this. Nah, we ain't trying to hear that. Why would it work this way now? Jay-Z signed on to host the Super Bowl halftime show back in 2019 to bridge the gap with black entertainers and the NFL lack of diversity. A lot of the people weren't for this. A lot of people were actually very angry about Jay-Z signing with the NFL calling him a sellout. So no one wanted the halftime slot. No one showed interest in the halftime slot. With Shakira and J-Lo, then The Weeknd, then Dr. Dre, and then Rihanna, and then Usher, you can tell by these lineups, rap artists weren't in line or at Jay's door to perform. But That's 100% facts. Now all of a sudden y'all so worried about it. Rappers wasn't worried about the Super Bowl halftime show. According to some people, Drake turned it down. So they wasn't really worried about it. Now, all of a sudden, everybody want to cry about it? No, nah, I'm not trying to hear that. When he gives it to Kendrick, it's now a problem. Make that make sense. Yeah, man. You got to understand, man. You got to respect the decision that was, that was made. Let's just be clear here. Just respect the decision that was made. And you won't have to worry about nothing. They did this for you. They gave you a concert. It was kind of like the pop out in a way. And they did a concert for you. And basically to pacify you. To make you feel good. Because you were going through something. And it's like, oh, this moment here, this is it. This is it for me. Like. And I know some people was in there in the crowd. They probably thought that, you know, it wasn't as good as they thought it was going to be. But if you're asking me, <clears throat> do I think that Lil Wayne can actually hold a crowd at the Super Bowl like Kendrick? I don't think so. No way. No. No. So shout out to Deleted, man. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to his channel, man. All right, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. I'm out of here.